I right at that moment I have a helicopter fly over me. Um, <laughs> here with Pierce Porterfield of Marpipe, and we are going to create an inspiration engine using technology to awaken the humanity. Something like that. I think I think something like that. I think awaken humanity is kind of the mission statement. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so background context in two seconds flat. Marpipe is. Uh, a multivariant testing algorithm that creates creative, uh, programmatically places it and optimizes it and replaces it. Pierce is the CTO. Uh, Marpipe took investment. No, not the CTO. Oh. The CPO. CP- what's CPO? Uh, Chief Product Officer. Oh, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do, 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 changing that in your memo. John invested in Marpipe, and Marpipe is running the ads for Spiritual Bro as part of its internal R&D. Uh, boo, boo, boo. And uh, we just finished our first test campaign and got some, I think, interesting data. Uh, and one of the things that we talked about prior to that data was creating an inspiration engine, which is essentially crowdsourcing the acquisition of copy and by copy i mean like spiritual wisdoms um to be used for the input data for the ai to use in the advertising um so i don't have a uh an ad readily available but i will grab one uh grab an ad i think also that we could do it with uh images as well like if we prompt somebody like like what's the most beautiful thing you can think of and then they think of like that they write a thing, then we get the stock image for that ooh, and make that with the ooh. background. I love how nerdy you are. <laughs> uh, there we go. And just notifications. Holy crap, so many notifications. Uh, likes your video. Video. There we go. Cool. So example of the type of stuff that Marpipe creates. Um, steal, I, I love she's like stealing some spiritual gangster. And I'm like, I kind of just wanted to copy like good artists copy, great artists steal. Um, <laughs> but also, uh, so yeah, so this type of thing. So we're talking about the material that's used here, the material that's used for the overlay. And then I think you you haven't used as much wisdom in the title that's usually just been um yeah it's hard to, it it takes if we do that it's like we're multiplying it too many times mm. so it's like if we're going to do that we have to really set out to do it okay uh you know so uh just summarizing this we found that uh women uh that we're targeting especially women in their mid uh, 45 to 55 years of age gravitate towards uh overcoming an inner work so like a victory over oneself is a bigger and better victory than a victory over thousands of people in a score of battles uh men tend to gravitate towards uh, messages of kindness and presence uh and then off so and then also ex- the actors one yeah as soon as we um, learn to speak we begin our career as actors let's say present let's say kindness that portrayal of self Mm -hmm. was that which one was higher i would i would say self-actualization yeah and i can link so self self with a lowercase s or is it so right no no it's actual self with a capitalized s those are two different pages yeah Oh, self wow. with a lowercase yeah. s is your ego. Self with an uppercase s is Atman or uh, the totality of all being. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, I see. Uh, Actualization now needs a a memo. Yeah. yeah a this, double memo. This is this is also true. Um, so, oh, my signal is unstable. Waiting for it to resolve. Uh. Do, do, do. Should I start recording as well? I'm going to start recording as well, just in case. Video buffering. Any processes I can kill to go slower? Not really. Or faster. 
all right. Are anyway. we streaming on Twitch? Which, where are we streaming to? We are streaming on Twitch. Um, okay. Kind of. Oh, that's why. Fucking background. This is... There we go. My Google Drive was trying to sync. <laughs> the one thing I forgot to turn off. I, w- there, I want like a go stream button. Uh, oh, a go stream? Like a hotkey? Like something... Well, I mean, I, I could make a streaming hotkey, but I find it more entertaining to make like a Staples Easy button with an Arduino that like does all the shit. Oh, I love that kind of thing. I, obviously, I, I have to overdo it. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, that's the recap. All right, so people in their 40, 45 to 55, men and women, two different types of messages, and we talked about using Facebook lead ads to ask leading questions to crowdsource data for Marpipe to use in Spiritual Bro Store advertising questions like, um, what was the one that you said? Uh, what short wisdom prompted meaningful reflection, but also like, what do you see as beautiful? What was the one that you suggested? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like what's the most beautiful thing you can think of? Mm. Something, something along those lines. I think something, because we don't want to ask them, we don't want to ask anybody direct questions like, what image should this be? Mm-hmm. But I think we should have it kind of revolve around like just just sort of prompting them with questions instead of asking anything directly. Uh, what is it? Yeah, so most beautiful thing you can think of is a leading question. Uh, mm-hmm. What short wisdom? What wisdom? If you were I- born again, what would be the first thing you'd want to see? No, I guess that, that might born again. I think is a limit trigger. the answer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would, some, but something like the first thing you'd want to see after this. So okay, so pausing that for a second. Uh, mm-hmm. So overcoming an inner work, and then uh, kindness, self actualization, and presence. So these two are both perspective based. So what do you see? Um, we could also do feeling based. Mm. So what do you feel? Um, so like for men, for example, um, what activity or meditation maybe? I don't know if I want to use meditation. What med- activity or meditate? What activity inspires you? to be more present Mm. um fits that may be kind of hard though i think we could make that easier to answer i agreed um what what reminder what reminds you to what what wisdom reminds you to be more present but i think i think like there if we're asking them to bring up wisdom then that that requires too much thinking of like they have to go back and it should be something that they just know inherently like they just they know this because it's like subconscious feeling so you're saying to change the word wisdom yeah i i think or i think it's like how do you feel or like hmm. yeah because how do you feel gives us an answer but not data that we can because what we're looking for are things like this yeah so it's like quotes. So it's like, what's your favorite? I, I would say that people would call those quotes, wisdoms, advice, insights. Like we can, mm-hmm. I mean, I would imagine we could test all those. Maybe we could ask what quote is in your email signature. Uh, maybe too specific. Yeah. What's your favorite? Specific. What quote? What quote describes you? That's self with a lowercase s. Ah, uh, okay. We want to. We want uppercase s's. Yeah. Mm. Self actualization. Well, because we're prompting them to give us material resonant with those topics. So, what? So thinking. I. I think kindness is. I kind of sort of ordered these. So I think like overcoming is more tangible to define than like inner work. Um, Mm. so, and I think kindness is more tangible to define than like presence. So let's say kindness theoretically is an easier thing. 
what what one thing what what should unkind people what, what would, would you, you like oh wait what, what would you, you like your enemies to know oh there you go uh, would that inspire like really negative shit with that <laughs> what, what kind what, of words would you give to your enemies yes that's like that i feel like you could think anybody like that's gonna invoke like an emotional like anybody knows that's like the spiritual version of clickbait <laughs> it kind of is though. i mean isn't that that's what we're making here yeah spiritual spiritual clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> I'm waiting till your team just starts. Oh, they're all wearing headphones. I'm waiting till they start being like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they're used to it by now. <laughs> all right. So, what kind of words would you give to your enemies? So we can iterate on that. Um, so then, what? What's the opposite of presence? Um, Absence. Ooh. Uh, what? What presence? What would you tell a friend if they're absent? What presence? What would you... I like yours better. What would you tell a friend who seems absent? Who feels um I'm trying to shorten it, that lost their presence sense of presence mm. Some, something good. like that um okay so that's presence self-actualization would be in the middle ish um self-actualization uh bigger picture bigger picture what what has someone told you uh maybe what what's the most connected you've ever felt to some another being object entity i'm thinking of that video the egg of like the entire universe is an egg of a god um mm what quote mm. i'm just gonna say quote mm. on this one what quote has inspired you to see the biggest picture of the universe mm. i like that one um picture. okay so those are men we can iterate on these. Uh, mm -hmm. For women. Overcoming. Um, what are the ones that... These are the men, right? What are the women? Uh, victor, inner victory. Hmm. What, what's your personal mantra? Ooh, yeah. Like yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, can we, we can do this for, we can split men and women, right? So we can want, run one yeah. inspiration engine for men and one for women. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, what is your personal mantra? That does feel like it opens a little bit of a door, but I feel mm -hmm. like the negative mantras would probably be few and far between. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think people would get, get that it's supposed to, like, what do you repeat to your, like, when you wake up in the morning, like, what is the goal? Like, what am I reminding myself of? Yeah. Um, overcoming. Wait, 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 another one could be, what's the most common reminder you have to give yourself? What... What do you remind yourself when haters are present? 
<laughs> I like that. Because that's I'm, I'm like like you know the, a lot of these are like I mean I, so actually I don't know if I told you this but so after we talked I started to think about it and I'm like okay people between 45 and 55 are buying our shirts women are gravitating towards messages of overcoming an inner work and men are gravitating towards messages of kindness, sex, self-actualization and presence. And when you think about it, women between 45 and 55 are like, you know, the younger side of boomers that mm-hmm. have been told and, and, you know, like gender, gender programming is, um, you know, you are, you are second class to your husband and like, mm-hmm. you know, you have to be, you know, subservient and like, you don't get paid as much, yada, yada. And so overcoming an inner work and like becoming stronger and then the gender programming of men in that same age bracket are like told like, you know, just be logical, like be the provider, like don't, don't share emotion, don't cry. Yeah. And those people are gravitating towards kindness and presence. So you literally like they're going after like opposing message messages that oppose their gender programming, which I realized after like we had that data meeting and I'm like, yeah, this is in reaction to OK Boomer. We could be the other end of kind boom. We're like, boomer, we're like boomer the... okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Meta. Um, I'm creating. Wait, what about, what about boomer okay question mark? Boomer comma okay. Uh, question mark. Uh, no, not that. Boomer okay. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Cause like then boomer. It's asking, it's like. You guys, you can be fragile. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, a reference to the... What makes boomers feel okay? What about the woke boomers? John? <laughs> Are the woke boomers okay? Uh, and spiritual bro. I'll write this later. Um, so I love that. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, so, all right. What is your personal mantra? A little loose. What is your mantra? What? Ooh. Okay. What mantra reminds, uh, inspires? What mantra inspires strength, inner strength? Mm. Yeah, that's much more direct. I like that. Uh, what do you remind yourself when haters are present? Uh, that seems kind of lowbrow. I'm thinking of a higher way to say that. Uh, but later, and then what's the last one? Overcoming inner work and overcoming inner work. And that's the men, right? No. Wait. So the women, all the women are talking about victory, self betterment. Mm-hmm. So overcoming the inner work and then enemies, which kind of goes with victory, mm-hmm. but this is very like Taoist of like, if you love your enemies, you'll have no enemies. Uh, same here. Inner peace. Do, a lot I, of inner I feel peace. like, yeah, I feel like inner peace fits with an inner work. Yeah. So then the question is if anything fits outside of those. And I think this one, real life is only found in the present, which is also inner work, but I think they share presence. So let's have a common. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then this one, we'll use that one for both. You said we can do three. Uh, yeah. I think, I think three is the magic number here. Okay. But we want to keep, I think we want to keep the, what is the most beautiful thing you can think of for the image. Then we have two. Then we have two options for copy, and then well, the image because you guys did. Does creative matter? Mm-hmm. Using. Super. I mean, like. There's this. Yep. 
Then the question yeah. is, do we want to use our product photos or do we want to use... No, I was the, thinking the product photo, but overlaid on the background, on a background photo. Uh, in a video, would be but you're saying like back here? Yeah, I'm seeing it as like context. Like it's like there's kind of like a bounding box, shopping box for the shirt. And then there's like the background image. What were the ones that were effective in selling? It was not video. It was... It was just this, yeah, the simple image with like the that kind of rounded card, yeah. So you're saying to put an image back here outside of... Basically, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you think that it's worth testing, yeah. I just, I'm not, I'm questioning like... It's another it's another layer the AI has to train for because right now it's post text mm -hmm. overlay and the product that's behind it. Well, the more layers is actually the better because it validates. Like if something works with both a waterfall background image and a landscape like green landscape background image, then that strengthens if if something else is winning, mm -hmm. then that strengthens that finding. Okay. Because it's mul it works in multiple contexts. Okay. Um so these are the three questions that fit the three categories of the data. This question mm -hmm. gives us the ability to test images. Uh, jumping to the, because I actually haven't used lead ads in a long time. Um, but so someone is like, fill out our form, three questions. The end of those questions, it's like, see what these answers will be used for. And then I think that mm. that can drive to either this memo um, mm -hmm. or, uh, hold on, I'll get back to that in a second. Um, or we could maybe create a page on the store that's like the, in, I don't know, like basically. Well, you could, because you can make a page on the store that is feeding, like if the answers are going into Airtable, you can make a page on the store that actually pulls up those images, correct? Uh, or pulls Air, up like their Air tables, Air Airtable's API limit is five per second. Um, so I'm always very confident uh, as that. Yeah, and what's what's really messed I up see. is that if you hit their limit of five, five requests per second, um, then mm -hmm. they freeze you for 60 seconds. So then you can't, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, I see. We actually just got into a beta f of something that I'll tell you about offline because we had to sign an NDA, but um, some cool shit coming down the pipes. And that's, that's because I like, I want to drive viral traffic into Airtable, but can't. Yeah. Um, Anywho, uh, okay. So back to simplifying this, you ask three questions, they click a button that says like, see what this is used for. And then we basically create a spiritual bro version of this, which is, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I can help you guys refine this and explain what you're doing to a non-technical mm -hmm. audience um, in the process of writing essentially that for us. So saying like, mm -hmm. you know, advertisers will often test, you know, many different variants. Uh, MarPipe is an artificial intelligence that tests thousands of variants um, and mm -hmm. the AI learns what is effective. And in this case, effective uh, means like spiritually awakened mm -hmm. messages. Um, so, all right. So they, they answer three questions. They get prompted to see what it's for. They end up on some page that explains that. And then let's say they end up on this page goes to collections all and collections all is actually a filtered view. So not everything is in here. So I have this in there, which is, did I tell you about this? Yeah. You told me about that. Yesterday. So I created, I created the this. Keyboard. Yeah. I created this last night, the actual like, it's, it's my version of the story. So what I verbally told you in the first weeks of our relationship, my now girlfriend getting her PhD in genetics shared something she'd been pondering. What if Genghis Khan, <coughs> humanity's most prolific proliferator, were female? 
It would only work with a species where the sex roles are reversed. Uh, like with seahorses, the males gestate the offspring as she shared tales of the fertile feminists proliferating her underwater empire with informed consent. Uh, I had an idea. I messaged one of our illustrators and thus Gang, Gang Her Khan, the she-horse, was born. Um, and then you click this and it goes to the story about Gang Her Khan, the she-horse. Uh, so, just checking this. Um, that if you if you go to shehorse.com that redirects here uh so i also created this this morning um which will be entertaining oh, yes uh so that was a promoted post yeah 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 um nice and I'm, it's targeted at women women redditors uh so that's gonna be i Amazing. like it's it's yeah it's like basically clickbait you know, because, like, it's not explaining anything and it's confusing as shit. And it comes here, yeah. which is, like, further clickbait. And, like, I don't really care if we don't sell any t-shirts because, like, this is hilarious. And then also... Oh, yeah, people if, just need to see this. Yeah, if you're not logged in, it actually pops up BrianBot. So I was, like, I, I showed I showed her this last night and I was, like, looking at it being, like, holy shit. Like, Spiritual Bro is an app we built, but it's also t-shirts but this is like an illustration which is explained by mythos, which is linking to her mythos, you know, and like, it's mm -hmm. just, and then like Brian bots present answering questions. So it's just it's like huge fuckery. Um, <laughs> but anyway, point being this page does not show everything. It's a, it shows everything that's not hidden. Um, and mm. the, I'm moving the stuff from my old stores into this, the stuff that's like just, it exists because I was like, yeah, it's a thing I did one time, but like I don't sell through it anymore. So I'm moving that into Spiritual Bro to save the $29 monthly for Shopify. It's all unnecessary. Point being, I can create a new collection and the collection page will have text up here. Mm -hmm. And so I can explain the context of the inspiration engine here using mythos and then i can do a new collection so that the actual collection page doesn't show that it'll just be like collections inspiration engine oh yeah um we'll I, be our... I think linking those together is a good idea yeah okay so i'll do a collection inspiration engine i'll explain the inspiration engine in the text up here and then this will go into Airtable, uh, which only we will see, but we can publish the data from just because we don't want to lock up the Airtable account. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. And we might not think. What else? What else? Uh, well, then we need to figure out where. So from Airtable, it's then got to go to Google Sheets. Because Google Sheets is the only thing that can, like, on the internet like that, they can run the automation to make these ads. Okay, well, then I, that was... If we want to make them immediately. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay, so we'll do a Google Sheet on Airtable. Um, that hurt me to say. Uh, personally, it hurt me. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Huh? Oh, we could export it to JSON. But it, he's saying that you can only make five API calls a minute. Five, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can only make five a minute. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. I mean, if you guys, the way that we did that for Spiritual Bro is that we put a, a, a layer, a caching layer over, if I understand this correctly, we put a caching layer over the Airtable so that every minute the cache updates. Every minute, the cache updates. Yeah, so we we put a caching layer over the air table oh, wait, so I that see. people wouldn't I be see. pinging. They're pinging the cache, not the air table, and the cache yeah. pulls from the air table once a minute. Okay, so then it won't, but it won't take like more than five, so you don't get like locked out, basically. Right. Well, it only takes like one. That's one ping per minute. Not oh, you get locked one. out with gotcha. five pings per second. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um. I'm always cognizant of the volume of traffic that Reddit can produce. Uh, mm -hmm. So, 
You tell me. Um, I like Airtable because we can tag things and like parse stuff. But if your system only works with yeah. Google Sheets, we can do it with Google Sheets. Well, that that is the easiest way to like kind of port things like that I know of right now. Okay. But basically, like the tagging in the Airtable can then feed like the final like whatever we're sending to Google Sheets will just be like for that automation to render. Okay. Like um, or like basically like there's there's four parts. There's the bot that like checks for the for new items then it gives it a status for rendering and then it, oh like actually before that it gives it like the actual values to like fill in on the i mean the, um, how about uh, you know what i'm pretty i'm pretty sure so let's let's mark this as a maybe i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. i can create a zapier that'll pull from Airtable into google sheets and the reason i would do that is that if all of the answers are going to Airtable, then I could manually approve and, you know, someone's like bananas mm -hmm. and just be like, you know, human oversight at least. That might be too complicated. So let me look at that. I mean, like I know how to do it, but that might be unnecessary for this first test. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm like kind of curious as to what people are going to answer because obviously these lead forms are typically like what's your name and email address so when mm -hmm. someone gets hit with like what mantra inspires inner strength um it's going to be objectively interesting to see how people interact with that oh yeah um so let's mark that as a question mark when we'll figure out the tech later uh okay so lead form targeted at women lead form targeted at men both with questions designed to prompt more of the things that are on the right, which are going to be used for post text that then drives to a collections page, which has an explanation of the experiment and all the shirts that are connected to it. Um, and then that's it. I think so. It's, so the, and whatever they're putting in, in there are we going to use how do we how do we know which shirt to make with the next ad that they are that they are making well the or way we that we're doing it they clicked on the way that we're doing it presently is that we have a database of copy and the copy is like spiritual mm -hmm. quotes and stuff like that and then Not we have a, and the then we have a database of t-shirts t-shirt mm -hmm. images and so I think all the answers to these questions would be added to the database and then just mm -hmm. applied to the same things already. And then later after we start converting sales through that data. So if someone, if someone, you know, gives us their mantra and then that, that mm -hmm. mantra gets added to the database and then the AI and then your system takes that mantra and applies it over the top of one of our shirts. And then that variant starts to perform better later down the road, we'll be able to do a case study and be like, this came from this. Mm, yes, so, yes, yes. and then the other thing too, sense. is that as that's happening, I'm obviously going to be looking at that database and I'm obviously going to come up with new shirt ideas based on the things that people are submitting. <laughs> so then mm -hmm. we'll also have shirts that are generated by the inspiration engine. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> and then like the fictional character shirt, each shirt, has context in mythos. And so <laughs> is it possible to automatically or to upload images to mythos automatically? Not no. yet. Wow. I'd, That'd be fantastic. I, I know, I know. That's like <laughs> <clears throat> more than anything, the ability to drag and drop images um, is like, yeah. I mean, the, well, I'm the saying from like a Google Drive folder that just like I know. pulls it, pulls I know. the images. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up when we're open source, and you, you're more than welcome to code that. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. Okay. Um, cool. I uh, love the personal photos. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that that really makes it. Um, oh, that's great. <laughs> wow. It's been 
it's it is yeah it's it, it yeah i mean <laughs> basically I everywhere i go like... I'm like do i have a picture of this shirt yet uh inspired by true events <laughs> i think we had a lot like this is john's daughter made this oh, i got duplicates john's daughter lays oh, wow. out her clothes every morning this is these are the these are the two uh the two women that introduced us um and true events beautiful friend chase in in what he claims to be too small of a shirt but he's just super jacked so you know (laughs) um but yeah uh cool all right so the other i'm trying to figure out what's the best way before we move on from that where where should people view these these images because i think you want people to see the other images people other people have made oh so you're talking about this not exactly this. I think it could be simpler. It could just be the image because we're not going to run them automatically, but we're going to make them automatically at least and put them in the database. And I so, think with that, it would so, be really cool. So, cr- so correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. The answers to these questions are going to be added to the database of copy that Marpipe is pulling from to create the the ads. Yes. Well, well, we might make a new database specifically for the inspiration engine, but yeah. Okay. So what this is, what does creative matter is, is a visual mm-hmm. representation of the database that we're talking about creating. Well, actually, this, so this is actually pulling from the Facebook API. So these are actual ads in the Facebook, actually in Facebook. So it's pulling like the media from that too. Yeah. That's How why hard is it to prepared. recreate this? What what is this? Fairly fairly challenging. This is all okay. custom. Dave I made was, this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is. I saw this and I was like, I I. This was one of the things that I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if? And then the next thought <laughs> in my mind was, yeah, that'd be fucking difficult. Um, so like <laughs> I that, when it, I when I, I saw you guys do it, like you know, I I had that idea in 2014, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't even yeah. know if that's possible. And then I saw you guys do it, and I'm like. I'm seeing it and I'm still astounded you were able to do it. It definitely took a while, but I think the simpler version is just to do the images. Like, cause we could have the images populating and just like a drive, like a cloud folder and that um, we could definitely pull those out. What, what's the objective of sharing that? I think it's because you want, it's, it's, a, I think resonance with the whole thing. Like people will feel better about the answers they just gave and be more interested in general if they can see like, so, oh, people are participating. In <clears throat> so we bought, well, I bought um, spiritsynthesis.com. Oh. <laughs> so, <That's a> good <laughs> so we could host, is, so synthesis, um, is it, hold on, I gotta go back to the definition of synthesis. So synthesis is the composition or combination of parts or elements so as to form a whole, the combining of often diverse concepts into a coherent whole. Um, so combining, combining things into a whole. Spiritual synthesis, mm. on the other hand, it, I was I was pretty proud of this one. It was a super simple change, but I was like, yeah. So spirit, <laughs> spirit, it, you don't have spirit. Spirit flows through you, right? So you don't because you can't own spirit. So spirit, spirit synthesis is a discovery that parts or elements previously known as separate are and always have been forms of a greater whole. The realization of thesis of thesis and antith- antithesis into a higher stage of truth. So. Oh. So, so what we're talking about, if you look at that as a verb, this the inspiration engine is spirit synthesis. So, I think I could you post could you post each new image to Instagram? Um, possibly. Um. This I'm not sure about have automatic you seen this? posting on Inspirobot. So it's an AI dedicated oh. to generating unique <laughs> inspirational quotes for the endless enrichment of pointless human existence. And so I've it's, never seen this. this whole Instagram is managed by the bots. It's like, eat too much. Don't just believe. 
Never marry a murderer, <laughs> even if it's fun. Act anxious. Oh, I like this. I don't know where their source data is pulling from, but it's basically a generative AI that's making Instagram content. That's amazing. The Growing entire peach sugar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that if it's not too complicated and we can do this, we could uh, generate like uh, an Instagram solely for that. Uh, and basically, I feel like I feel like doing the Instagram would be harder than just. I'm looking up right now on Stack Overflow ways to get like anything uploaded to a Google Drive and being able to like get the image link and then post that on a web page. I think that would be the easier option. Well, I mean, I, there's a ton of stuff that you can post Instagram. to Instagram or Facebook autonomously. Oh, that's tr yeah, that's true. Like Hootsuite and those. Right. I mean, we types. could probably yeah. set up like a Zapier that's anytime a new image is added to this Google Drive folder, post it to Instagram. Like. Okay. Yeah, that that makes sense. I like that one. Okay, so let's. I like that route. Let's aim for that. So then, basically, the flow is going to be. Facebook lead form that asks women and men t three three questions and then offers them context of what those answers are going to be used for, lands them on a page that has a short explanation at the top of a Shopify collection dedicated to this project, and then mm -hmm. those answers on our end are going to be put into a database like the one we already have, and then that database is going to be used to create new ads. Uh, and then and then also I'll be reading those and creating new shirts. And then as the new ads are created using these things, those will be added to a Google Drive and then that Google Drive will be some way zapiered towards social media in like a dedicated, these are the things that the community has created thing. Mm -hmm. And then that explanation I'm now thinking needs to be passed off to our PR guys because that's hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, this is so good. That, that, that's... that reminds me of your uh, your Instagram story that you posted the other day. Which one? Where you, where you went through the whole spiritual road this far. Yeah, yeah. That needs to be an update. Um, I mean, it's, yeah. Uh that's going to be a really fun update. Once I think once this goes live and we have the first the first product that goes through that whole thing, so that would be, I mean, a month from now, lead forms have been submitted, data has been acquired, data has resulted in new advertising creative and new t-shirts, and then those t-shirts are available for sale. I can do an update, just be mm -hmm. like, boom, 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 boom. Um, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, is there anything we're missing? I don't think so. I I want to. I need to prototype the. Uh, we can do some. Once we have our like flow set up, the inputs and the outputs, we should prototype and just use some other kind of lead form and try to like render things through that. Uh, what do you mean by other get type all, of lead form? Yeah. Or just like not the face. We can plug in another lead form source. To. Um, you mean different questions or a different. Type no, I'm just form. saying, like, have this, have the same questions, but a different type of form outside of Facebook too. Gotcha. To like play test it, yeah. Ooh, I love, I love that you just use the phrase play testing because <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing. Play, play test. Um, it's actually in my library. Uh, the term was introduced to me by Will Schroeder, um, the founder of Startups.com. Um, in the context of lifestyle design where I think I wrote this too analytically, but basically he suggested to his wife, like let's move into the place where we want to retire and see if we hate it. Um, and they no longer live there. So I have to, up, I have to check in with him. I think, I think they like moved into this like Beverly Hills mansion and lived there for like a year. And they're like, meh, they were, they live next. So the play test went negatively. Yeah. They live next to, uh, forget his name but he was like the agent of uh justin bieber that became like an early investor in uber they were his next door neighbor oh, scooter scooter Braun. i think so he was name? he was building yeah. this like crazy house while they were living there um and they were like i mean their house was beautiful and he was like yeah man like 
He's like, our house is like this much. And he's like, that dude's building a house that's like three times as much. And I'm like, this oh house. God. And he, he, he like grew up poor and then like he's self-made and like has an mm-hmm. amazing story. And he's like, you know, and I acknowledge that like I have this and I'm grateful for this because I used to have nothing. But I also see that and want that. And I'm like, that's fucked up. You know, he's, and he's like, <laughs> he's, he's so good at vocalizing like what would otherwise be subconscious thought yeah um, like you, you would just keep that to your, you would usually just keep that to yourself you're or like, not oh, acknowledge it i'm not a you just, i'm not a jealous person you'd, you'd be in the house and you'd be and like i want person. you know i'm gonna build a house you know like because he rented this house so he's like i'm gonna build a house yeah. to my spec um and and scoot i think it's hit scooter it's like the whole it, it's like this darth vader fucking like obelisk thing that's suspended on the first level oh, which is entirely made of glass so it looks like it's floating it looks like an obelisk Holy floating shit. in the air um super cool uh yeah, i don't know if i want to live there but uh anyway uh stories so okay awesome um i'll get this written up in the inspiration engine i'll get the um collection created for you uh you'll send me a link to the google sheet you want to use yeah sorry other people are talking to me That's right. uh wait, can you repeat that last thing well uh you how about you tell me if you want to use if, if we can use Airtable or if we can if you want to use google sheets exclusively because if we do an Airtable. Airtable has like a form view where we can actually accept mm-hmm. submissions outside of Facebook in a playtest. Oh. And then that yes. we can do entirely in Airtable and then we can probably do it that if the record is like has a check mark next to it in Airtable then it goes to the Google Sheet through Zapier. I'll have to look at I'll look at that today and see if that's possible and if not we'll yeah. do it in Google exclusively. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Is that well? Also, like the the check mark or the approve process could also feed the actual bot input because you have to give it an input to say yes, do make this, mm-hmm. and then that that could also just be directly correlate. Like all of them could be there, but then it doesn't get made unless there's a check mark or some sort of input. That says yeah, yes there's or actually no. there's actually some really cool software uh, that do, 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 do. what is it called? Table table to site. So, um, you know, have you ever heard of uh, nomadlist.com? This is tangent, but a good one. I have, I've heard of the name. You might have told me about it, though. Yeah, oh, wait, right. yes. Yeah, I yeah. think you, you told me about this. Yeah. yeah, so you can, it's like everything that you need to know to live in a given city. So it's like, a, you know, website design-wise, it's cards. And each card you open and it pops over and it gives you the information. And then you can kind of click through. Mm. So table to site built a software as a service that you link so they show you yeah so you link the content of an air table to different oh, elements wow. so they basically connected a css they they're using air tables as css and and a cms and that is so interesting That's and so, so cool. as as you add things to the site it creates uh da, 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 da. Examples, job board, landing page. There we go. Cities for nomads. Okay, so this is a table. This is this is a clone of Nomad List built with Airtable as the CMS. Whoa! And That's so, so, cool. so you click on Chiang Mai, and it, you know, it's more basic. It just gives you this. Um, but then you can say all sun nature, right? But then if you go here, add your own. Do, 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 do. It's this is the Airtable like air form view, form. and then you submit wow. it. And now on the back end, what it does, what the software does, is in the Airtable base, it has a new record, and that record is like submitted content. And then until you change the status to approved, it won't appear on the site. So it's a it's a human approval of every submission. Oh, that's so cool. And we can recreate that with that was where i when i just articulated it that that's what i was thinking of so oh yeah let me I think build this, it this is really promising yeah <laughs> let me build an air table this is really promising uh because i already built the database we talked about yesterday um let me build it and then i'll see what it can do with the zapier pass off because i know you guys are fully built on google sheets 
and then we'll we'll work. We're not we're not actually normal. We're not actually fully built on Google Sheets, but um, I was just thinking like we have our own API and our own JSON that feeds what we normally do. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking that Google Sheets might just be like the easier integration from some of these other tools. But if there's like there's multiple ways Facebook we can get or not Facebook Airtable data. should be just as easy. It definitely is more work if you haven't done it already. So, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I have the personal belief that like Airtable is the new Google Sheets, and I think that. Oh yeah, I love Airtable. We, we also actually, use Airtable, so yeah. So let me actually take this opportunity to. I'm going to end the stream, and then I'm going to tell you about the um, thing that I can't say publicly. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. <laughs> all right, stopping the stream.